Now let's start with the new topic of product of two vector. Now the definition first thing the scalar product of two vector. Scalar product of two vector. Two non zero vectors a vector and b vector now denoted by a vector dot b vector is defined as now a vector dot b vector is equal to the magnitude of a vector magnitude of b vector cos theta. Here now theta is the angle between a vector and b vector. Now the theta lies between 0 to pi. Let's see. Now it is a vector and it, this one is b vector. Now this theta. Now if theta is equal to 0 degree means the a vector and b vector are overlapped to each other means the a vector dot b vector is equal to magnitude of a vector and the magnitude of b vector. Now second condition if a vector dot b vector is equal to 0. Now this condition is possible if and only if a vector and b vector are perpendicular to each other. Now the third property is a vector dot b vector is a real number. Now next thing is if a vector dot a vector then it is magnitude of a vector magnitude of a vector cos 0. So it is magnitude of a vector square. Next one if theta equals to pi then a vector dot b vector is equal to the minus of magnitude of a vector my and the magnitude of b vector. Now in the view of the observation this for mutually perpendicular unit vectors i cap, j cap and k cap we have. Now we have the three mutually perpendicular vectors i cap, j cap and the k cap. So now i cap dot i cap j cap dot j cap k cap dot k cap is equal to 1 i cap dot j cap j cap dot k cap k cap dot i cap is equal to 0. Now by this we just can identify the angle between the two vector that is cos theta. The cos theta is a vector dot b vector upon the magnitude of a vector magnitude of b vector. So now theta is equal to the cos inverse of a vector dot b vector upon magnitude of a vector magnitude of b vector. Now the some properties of the of scalar product a vector dot b vector plus c vector is equal to the a vector dot b vector plus a vector dot c vector. Now the second one is now lambda is any scalar quantity is multiply with a vector and take a dot product with b vector. So now we can write like either a vector dot product with the lambda b vector or the lambda a vector dot b vector. Now let's see the product of the two vectors how to do. Now 
let's consider the a vector is a1 i cap, a2 j cap, a3 k cap. b vector equals to b1 i cap, b2 j cap, b3 k cap. a vector dot b vector. a1 i cap, a2 j cap, a3 k cap dot b1 i cap, b2 j cap, b3 k cap. Now, a1 i cap is multiplied with b1 i cap, b2 j cap, b3 k cap plus a2 j cap is multiplied with b1 i cap, b2 j cap, b3 k cap plus a3 k cap is multiplied with b1 i cap, b2 j cap, b3 k cap. So now, now a, this i cap is i cap is 1. Now the i cap is multiplied with j cap is 0. i cap is multiplied with k cap again is. So after solving this, we get a1 b1, a2 b2, a3 b3. Now the next point is projection of a vector on a line a b vector max an angle theta with a given directed line l in the anti clockwise direction in the anti clockwise direction now let's see that is a line mark the point a b Complete the figure is this point is D. Now it makes a theta angle. Now it is A vector, it is P vector. The projection of AB vector on L, the projection of AB vector on L is a, a vector P vector with magnitude. AB vector cos theta. Now how is it possible? Let's see. Take the component of this vector. Now this is an AB vector. Now it is a perpendicular of this triangle. So the P vector is equal to the magnitude of A vector cos theta. So that is a magnitude of AB vector cos theta. Now the, the direction of P vector being the same or opposite so that of the line L depending upon whether the cos theta is positive or negative. Now let's see in the example. Now if it is a line L mark the point A that is B A vector. Now this angle is theta. Now if I draw the perpendicular to here that is a C point. So P vector is this now the theta is lies between 90 degree to 180 degree. Now in the second quadrant, the cos theta is negative. Similar. Now this one if is a line L point A. Now the angle is this. That is theta. P vector, A vector. This one is A point. This one is B point. This one is C point. Theta lies between. 180 degree to 270 degree. Now, the observations by this first thing is projection of a vector A vector on other B vector is given by A vector dot B cap or a vector dot b vector upon magnitude of b vector or a vector dot b vector upon the magnitude of b vector. Now if theta equals to pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2 then the projection of vector will be 
जीरो वेक्टर लेट्स टेक द एग्जाम्पल फाइंड द एंगल बिटवीन टू वेक्टर्स ए वेक्टर एंड बी वेक्टर विद मैग्नीट्यूट वन एंड टू रेस्पेक्टिवली एंड वेन ए वेक्टर डॉट बी वेक्टर इज इक्वल टू वन लेट सी द सोल्यूशन नाउ ए वेक्टर डॉट बी वेक्टर इज वन मैग्नीट्यूट ऑफ ए वेक्टर इज वन मैग्नीट्यूट ऑफ बी वेक्टर इज टू सो थीटा इक्वल्स टू कॉस इनवर्स ए वेक्टर डॉट बी वेक्टर अपॉन मैग्नीट्यूट ऑफ ए वेक्टर मैग्नीट्यूट ऑफ बी वेक्टर कॉस इनवर्स वन बाय टू इज पाई बाय थ्री नाउ लेट्स टेक द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इफ ए वेक्टर इक्वल्स टू फाइव फाइव के माइनस जे के माइनस थ्री के के एंड बी वेक्टर इक्वल्स टू i के प्लस थ्री जे के माइनस फाइव के के देन शो दैट द वेक्टर्स a वेक्टर प्लस b वेक्टर एंड a वेक्टर माइनस b वेक्टर आर परपेंडिकुलर नाउ लेट सी द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस नाउ a वेक्टर प्लस बी वेक्टर नाउ द फाइव एंड वन सिक्स आई के प्लस टू जे के माइनस एट के के ए वेक्टर माइनस बी वेक्टर इज फोर आई के माइनस फोर जे के प्लस टू के के नाउ लेट्स मल्टीप्लाई द वेक्ट बोथ दी वेक्टर्स ए वेक्टर प्लस बी वेक्टर डॉट ए वेक्टर माइनस बी वेक्टर Equal to now the six into four twenty four two into four minus four minus eight minus eight into two minus sixteen. Now that is a zero. So now these two vectors are perpendicular to each other. Now in the next class we will continue with the example.